Hello everyone, my name is Edgar. I'm the project lead of uh, Cornea. And this talk is a short introduction to Cornea, um, very few basics about the library. Um, I'm going to explain and we, uh, me and my colleagues are going to show some demos about the new APIs included in the latest version. So in short, uh, Cornea, it's uh, an open source uh, differentiable computer vision library uh, built on top of PyTorch. So this means that we re-implemented uh, classical uh, vision operators in terms of differentiable tensors uh, using all the properties in PyTorch. And then uh, more recently, we started to include state of the art and created computer vision algorithm uh, for AI. So here you can see the different core features and basic functionality. I'm not going to go through that. So feel free to go to our documentation and you will see that uh, yourself. In terms of community, Cornea um, right now has more than 5,000 stars, 1 million downloads, and our community is keeping growing uh, more and more. So we recently revamped or documentation, we change uh, the style. Now you can you can uh, found here uh, self documented code uh, with examples that are generated. Um, every time we build a documentation, we intend to provide us uh, short snippets showing the usability of each of the functions that are also tested. Uh, every time that we deploy the documentation. So it's a real online thing. We also have a few tutorials that you, we invite to explore. But here I'm going to uh, discuss and show the, the new APIs that we include in the latest version. So the, the first one is image matching. Now you have methods, uh, high-level APIs to match Im uh, images uh, using local features, in that case with transformers. A similar thing for image registration. I'm not going to show the video here, but it's in our YouTube, so feel free to go there. Uh, same for the homography tracker. We include a high-level API to track uh, images. Same for stitching. We have uh, the API to easily stitch images. And one recent one includes uh, face detection, which uh, it, we provide uh, an API with a very light method um, to run on the CPU in real time. So it's a nice method. We are going to see a demo uh, later. So in terms of the next generation of the library, we are planning to include a cameras API to put uh, to that work with the the OpenCV AI kit. Also, uh, we are going to integrate with uh, Jetson uh, NVIDIA's uh, family. We have uh, recently included also a training API. It's uh, still in beta. So um, yeah, feel free uh, to check it out, provide feedback. Um, more examples uh, using the advanced data augmentation. We provide several containers, for example, to perform uh, image augmentation in patches, in videos. Um, so um, here I'm going to show uh, in more detail um, the face uh, detection demo. This is a face detection API uh, demo. So I'm going to explain very briefly how it works. We implement um, the camera stream API that we are going to merge soon using the Luxony is an open city camera. Here we define the face detector object. We embed it into a NNN sequential so that we can even uh, include here uh, some pre-processing. And then here it's, uh, we implemented the camera API, um, very similar to open city. So we have this uh, classical uh, while loop to get the frames that uh, come in tensors. And then basically here we apply the pipe to the, to the input frame. We have this 
face detection uh, resolved uh, objects so that we can retrieve uh, easily the detections. And here, finally, just a um, for loop to draw the detections. Let's see how it works. You can see that the method is quite robust from the one camera. Well, then let me show you that we can detect also multiple faces this is running in real time. is Dmitry Mishkin and I will show you how to use uh, Cornea for creating a little augmented reality application. So here we are playing a card game called Gwent from Witcher video game and so far we are losing because we have uh, bad cards worse than our opponent a uh, plush dog. Maybe we can alter this reality and replace our bad cards with something better and win the game. So let's check how we can do this with help of uh, IPI widgets and cornea. We can label image with the best card in whole game series in order to have them it in our hand and we also would like to label our target the bad card we would like to change it is Redanian infantry is the worst card in the game and we will detect it with and track with the help of uh, cornea homography tracker it initialized like this we take some a local feature matcher and that's it and then we we'll look for a frame where the card appears and replace it with our good card and let's check the result so here we check in our cards and ta-da magic happens as you can see, Rekin is pretty stable and card is looking good. Thank you. Today, we want to introduce two new projects we are working at Cornea, Limbus and Vision Studio. Limbus is a framework to create computer vision pipelines using a clean API. The main idea is to be able to connect a set of components without taking care of their execution order. These components can be automatically created from any function or NN module. As we can see in this example, first we need to create and connect the components. And finally, Limbus will find the best execution order and will run the pipeline. Today we are making public the project, so feel free to start using it. Today we are also introducing the Vision Studio project, which is an interactive and visual tool to model, run and even debug complex vision pipelines. As you can imagine, it's built on top of Glimbus, taking advantage of its ability to create and manage pipelines. Our vision is to provide a no-code platform where everyone can contribute publishing their own components in order to create production pipelines in a very simple way. Let's see a simple example that creates a panorama from a set of three images. First of all, we add an image reader component and an image viewer to see the original images. Next, we add an image stitcher component and another image viewer to see the resulting panorama. And finally, we execute the pipeline. First, we will see the three original images and now Now, we can see the resulting panorama. If you are interested on these projects, feel free to contact with us and join our community. Thank you so much for your time.